At the start of every year, you will get a new class page for each of the classes that you teach. These will be set up and waiting for you on the left-hand side of your page in your side menu. To access your class page, you can click on the link to that page. Once on your class page, you can set it up however you like. You may notice that there are already some components there for you. These are components that your school has added to a class page template to start you off. To delete any of these components, you can click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the component and then select yes. Clicking the arrow will allow you to adjust the settings of the component. Each component will have different settings. For example, the image slideshow component will have settings that allow you to set the image to full width or select the alignment, whereas other components will have settings for you to choose how many items are displayed. It's a good idea when adding a component to check out these settings and adjust them for your use. To customize the colors and the layout of your page, you can click on the edit columns icon in the top right corner of the page. From here, you can select which columns you would like to change. Then select the heading text and the heading background colors, as well as the primary and secondary background colors of the component and the text link and link hover colors. Once you have set your colors, don't forget to hit save. You can reset your color scheme to its original state at any time by clicking reset. The other thing which you can do in this area is adjust the column width of the page. You can do this by dragging the slider from side to side. Once you're happy with your page colors and layout, click the Edit Columns icon again to close this area. To add components to your page, click the plus icon in the top right hand corner. You will see that there are many components that you can add to your page. These are sorted under the headings of Information, Collaboration, Learning, Multimedia, Resources and Feeds. To add a component to your page, simply drag and drop the component to where you would like it to appear. You can move a component at any time by dragging it and dropping it to a new area. Depending on your teaching style or the year level or subject that you teach, you will want to set up your class page a little differently. If you teach junior students, you will probably like to add a blog component where you can post regular reports on what your students have been doing and lots of tiles that link to photo albums. If you are a secondary teacher, you will probably prefer to add a social stream for your students to communicate with each other and with you about the course. You might also like to add some tiles that link to your course pages. Please note that you will learn more about building your course pages in future units. You may even be lucky enough to have someone at your school who has already set up your courses for you. You might also like to add to your class page a calendar to record important class dates, a class teachers component to show the teachers, and a class list component to show all the students in your class. Adding a due work component will show students what they have due, and a course outline component will allow you to link up to your course. If your course has already been set up for you, you can link it by clicking Select Source in the Course Outline component and then locating your course. If your course hasn't already been set up for you, you will learn how to do this in future units and you will come back to this stage and link up your course to your class page. Remember when setting up your class page that you will be setting up a new class page for each of your classes every year. So don't spend too much time setting it up. The best practice is to put more work into creating your course pages and then importing them into your class page. Remember, you will learn how to do this in future units. If you liked this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to our Schoolbox YouTube channel.